We just finished installing icons and themes and settings of variety on Linux Mint 18. We've installed i3 and here we are on our same Linux Mint system, but this time with i3 Windows Improved Windows Manager or Windows Tiling Manager. Meaning you can, every program that you start will be tiled up to the maximum of your screen. But in this case, I do have a little gap in between and why? Because I do like the wallpapers and when I scroll over the icon of the variety, you see that there is a wallpaper changing behind there. Let's cover how to, well, what we get when you log in. Let's do that first. So in the config file, where is the config file? In eric.config i3, this is the config file. In this config file, I told the system, look, um, whenever there is a, a window you'll make a gap a gap of five pixels inner outer it's all in there i also told that uh, firefox is going to be on workspace one this is workspace one this is two this can quickly switch just by clicking this is the toolbar beneath the toolbar beneath is actually governed or the settings are in a hidden folder so ctrl h not folder but file this one this is the i3 status bar so if you want to change any of these elements it's gonna be here then um, menus or let's maybe first go to the right side the right side, I have told the system that Nemo should always come on the workspace 8 and Spotify should be on workspace uh, 10, but there is a but. Spotify starts on your first screen or whatever screen it likes. There is no logic behind it. There is some kind of problem, issue, bug. Anyway, we are stuck with Spotify popping up on different work screens so we have to tell it to go there and how do we do that you go to the spotify to the you hover over it with the mouse so that's active that's focused that's the one you want to select and then you press windows or super or mod key shift and then you decide to watch workspace while i send it i can send it for instance to three then it will be obvious that something has happened and here you'll see that three contains now my techno windows shift six gives here just the number six but when you click it there it is so that's how you move about when you're comparing a line of code to the left and a line of code to the right that's how you move about code so you can look in on two screens and uh, program okay that's quite interesting what's next well we can change from workspace we can change elements from workspace we can also delete stuff like this one i don't want it i press windows shift q bye i do have also a shortcut just to run this again sublime text is gonna be ctrl alt t and it will be it's programmed to be it is here in config programmed to be on workspace 2 if you don't want it you should change it so all these items all the elements whatever you desire probably a good thing just to look in the config file then the menus and then we want to log off menus windows d dim or um, mod d or super d here are all the programs you don't have to go with the cursor like that with the arrows no if you have a good memory you just type it and you say give me something it was something with, with disks or usb or Voila. and then you go look what you want or you have the 
Windows Shift D, which gives a totally different kind of menu, but also an interesting one. I can again type something, but disk does not do anything. USB does not do anything. So both menus are there. They're made in a different way. And if a program you want isn't there, you can use the other menu. Okay, menus has been covered. Next up is getting out. This is nothing for you. You press Windows Shift E and E for exits. So yes, exit I3, movie is done. Other way to exit is Windows and then pause break. Windows pause break is no yellow bar, but here at the bottom you see system lock. I'm gone for, for dinner. System lock, log out, suspend, hibernate. These two don't respond at this point in time. Reboot and shift plus S shutdown. So a second way to stop i3. And um, I'm thinking what's next. Next, I think two important things is what is the tiling manager? For instance, we have a text open here and I press Windows Enter. Now you know what the tiling manager is. It is still tiled automatically, perfectly, 50-50. The screen has been divided between two programs. And if I want to, I can run another program and do again Windows Enter and Enter and Enter. And a little trick, Windows Vertical, Windows V or Mod V, and then press Enter you get this element. And you can select any of these elements. The coloring you see, the dimming and uh, the lightning again, that is uh, Compton. Okay, this file is situated here. Okay, so nice. And the wallpapers look nice as well. Getting rid of all of them is Windows Shift Q nothing is left all right what's next I can do that is actually something that is restricted to one place we did now Windows enter but there is also Windows shift enter and here it is Windows shift enter is going to open Nemo but only and always on 8 because I said it here so opening, look for files, Windows Shift, enter. Getting rid of them, Windows Shift Q, Windows Shift Q, Windows Shift Q. Everything gone. We're looking now at 8 and 2 as workspaces. And then we can have a look at the COM keys I provided. One of them is uh, measuring the CPU and the RAM and the other is actually a help for you. So open new terminal, mod enter, mod being Windows key, mod enter. Ah, okay, screen fetch, system are on. Okay, D menu, mod D, kill focused, mod shift Q, control alt B, file manager, control alt N, we didn't do that one. Control Alt N. That should be. You should recognize this. We are here. Cinnamon settings. Switching, navigating, Alt Tab. We know what Alt Tab is. We know what Windows Tab is or Mod Tab is. Well, Windows 7. Here we go. Toggle floating, mod shift space, down vertically, mod V, horizontal, and mod pause break, mod being a Windows key. Okay, so this is a very small intro to get you started, to get you moving around and starting to run things and 
experiment with uh, things. I'll uh, post more movies about how to work on i3.